Hey guys, System Override here with Verge Gaming, your daily gaming fix. In this video, I'm going to be carrying on my Dear Esther playthrough, and hopefully this loading screen goes pretty quickly. Now, I'm not too sure how long this is going to be, this mission, but I may have to split up into two parts. I'm not too sure on that yet, but hopefully it's basically short enough for me to do in one part. Um, that will probably be the better way for it to go as I'm sort of wanting to do a part per chapter. And this chapter is called The Caves. Oh, bit of noise going on there, no image. Ow. Donnelly did not pass through the caves. From here on in, his guidance, unreliable as it is, has gone from me. I understand now that it is between the two of us and whatever correspondence could be drawn from the wet rocks. Ooh. Interesting. So, it turns out that the... It's not Donnelly who... He's not reading Donnelly's book at the moment. He's speaking himself. And crap, our flashlight broke. Don, we are torchless. How the hell is that candle still lit? Oh well. Well, let's come down here. Admire this beautiful scenery. It looks amazing. That's crazy. <laughs> Even the caves look amazing on this game. What the hell? Most games just make caves look crappy. It's actually quite cool what you can do on a Source Engine. I never thought it was this good. Because the graphics on uh, most games I've played on the Source Engine haven't actually been that brilliant. Uh, sort of saying that, actually, thinking about it. Half-Life 2... Episode 2 had quite nice, well, the whole of the Half-Life 2 series had quite nice graphics, but they were not in any way comparable to this. Ah, lots of, uh... Right there is no other one. direction, no other exit from this motorway. Speeding past this junction, I saw you waiting at the roadside, a one last drink in your trembled hands. Motorway? Why is he on about a motorway? That's random. Another nerve. I'm not sure what half of these symbol things are meant to mean. I don't even know if they're important or not. Whether we should remember them. I'm not sure what that is either. But are we supposed to remember what these are? Will they help us out later on? Or. Hmm. Right, let's uh, press on and come around here. We just, yeah, we just came through there. So, yeah, it's just taking us back in a circle on ourselves. Ooh, that looks, that looks brilliant. Bear as we get closer when the textures sort of come in properly. Yeah. <laughs> so cool. Where, where do we. Crap, where do we go? What are these? Oh, rocks. Let's just try this. Uh... Did I mention a motorway? I'm confused now. What's this cable to do with motorway? We may never find out. I hope we do. Um, okay, we can't go that way. So maybe we're eventually coming out of this cave system. Looks like we're coming up to the surface. Or not. <laughs> Alright, if we come down here. So, that's where we jumped from. Into that water. Oh crap, I almost slipped there. <laughs> Nervous. Let's come across. Whoa. Blood. Uh. Um, uh, is 
like wood or is that just some red stuff out of the rock? It looks like blood to me. This doesn't really look bloody. But that back there did. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. That's quite strange. Why would there be blood on an island? Especially where that water is if it hasn't been inhabited for ages. Oh, we automatically lay down. <laughs> That's cool. I wonder if we automatically crouch and stuff. I think we do. Do we crouch before? I have no idea. <laughs> for some reason, he was still in the crouch position. I was through here. In my final dream, I sat at peace with Jakobsen and watched the moon over the Sandford Junction. Goats grazed on the hard shoulder, the world gone to weed and redemption. He showed me his fever scars, and I mine, between each shoulder, the nascency of flight. Why does he keep going on about that? I don't think there's anything down then. I think I just go to that end, so... Strike over this path. We've got another chemical equation here, or molecule uh, structure, I should say. And let's come around here. Is there anything down there? I don't want to miss out in case there is, but. Know, let's just try up here first. If it's not, then we can go back. Simples. But, uh, I don't think this is going to be the way up. It might be. <laughs> Way to contradict yourself in the space of a few seconds. More pain and another nerve. Maybe it's the nerves are trying to say that he, this guy is currently nervous. Maybe. He's, maybe it's saying that he's really nervous or something. Uh, last episode we were mentioning about the alcohol. Um, I can't remember what we mentioned about the alcohol now. Uh, alcohol engine. Ah, yes, if we think back to the last episode, we're talking about how... I will hold the hand you offered to me. From the summit down to this well. Into the dark waters where the small flowers creep for the sun. Headlights are reflected in your retinas. Moonlit in the shadow of the crematorium chimney. Alright, so last episode we were talking how, um... He may have been drink driving or something, because there was an engine diagram, there was... Uh, alcohol diagrams or for ethanol and also nerves so he may have had some nervous disposition or something decided to go out drink driving for some stupid reason and crashed his car that might be why he's talking about motorway behold Damascus taken Whoa. <laughs> Jesus I think some nutcase has gone out all, all, like, all out here the hell is going on? Let's keep pushing forward. I'm all writing up ahead. What does it say? Away from being acty. Oh, away from being a city. Damascus has been taken away from being a city. And all shall be. Punished keep? I don't, know, I don't know, I can't read that properly. The paint's a bit too smudgy. <laughs> That's boy, like a bit odd, the text is just dropping down from the ceiling. But uh, it's okay. It's not too bad. So, what's around here? Oh, more water. I guess this time we have to go for a swim. Right, hopefully, we don't drown in this. I like all the bubbles underwater as well, that's really cool. What's that? Any? Let's go up to the surface. And there doesn't seem to be anything we need around here. So let's just run up here onto the shore, or into the cave part, and I think we're going to have a drop here in a second. Oh yeah, we're at a drop. 
Let's go for it. Uh... Whoa. The... The hell? The hell is this? Jesus. It's like some, um... Hospital bed. Yeah, it's a hospital bed with a drip or an operating table. So I'll have a look around here, see if there's anything else. This is the Wow, this is creepy. This is the M5. Swear it is. The A5, sorry. No, M5, yeah. Oh my god. So maybe, maybe he was in a crash and he sort of, when he's jumped into the water, he's just having a flashback or something. I don't know. But this doesn't make sense. Is there any cars around? If there is, then we can probably look up and maybe discover something. I don't know whether we should go up to the surface or we should carry on swimming around. automatically taking us up. Okay, I think he was having a flashback. Let's get some air. Let's go quickly. Wow, oh, this is beautiful. I'd like to see Bear Grylls do that. <laughs> now, to be fair, Bear Grylls is that big a nutcase, he probably would, but he's a nutcase who's my idol, man. <laughs> I really wasn't expecting that. So maybe we were right. Maybe he did have a car crash or something. It wouldn't have been a flood. That's a bit too crazy. I think the water was just there because he's fallen into water. I'm not sure. It's too difficult to sort of analyse. I don't get it. Okay guys, so I'm going to call that it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to like, comment, favourite and subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out all of our social networks, our forums and our daily blog, the links to which are below. So, I'm System Override and you have been watching Verge Gaming. Yeah.